Hey, uh, Mr. Green, you have a minute? To talk to you. Yeah, sure, Skyler. Have a seat. What can I do for you? I, I kind of have a problem. Go on. You see, it's just... I can't stop thinking about her, man. Her cute smile, that wonderful twinkle in her eye, and, oh, man, that voice is just so enchanting, and the whole way she flicks that little wand on her TV show. Are you talking about Sabrina the Teenage Witch? No, I don't like blondes. This girl is amazing. The way her dark hair frames her face so perfectly, and that pouty lip that curls into the most beautiful smile. It's just... Sometimes I dream that we're together and we fit so perfectly with one another. I can even tell a funny joke, Mr. Green, and she laughs. Then I stare into her dark eyes and I'm just... Okay, Skylar, I think I see. I think you might have an extreme case of selenitis. This obsessive nature that you have, constantly thinking about this girl, wanting to be with her, fantasies, the obsessive nature of thinking that she might just be the perfect girl. She is a perfect girl. She's amazing. She's not only the most beautiful girl on Disney, but anywhere, Mr. Green. You know who's hot on the Disney Channel? Selena Gomez. Daisy Duck. Daisy Duck. Daisy. Duck. Oh yeah. She's not even real. She's a cartoon. How can you be talking about cartoons when I have a serious problem, Mr. Green? I mean, she's on my mind all the time. I can't stop thinking about her. I think about her when I'm asleep, when I wake up, when I'm in your classroom. I, it's just, I can't get her out of my mind. And that's a problem? I'm just kidding, Skylar. Okay. The way I see it, we have three options to solve this problem. Yeah? One, we give you a lobotomy. A what? Lobotomy. <laughs> Two, we put you on a strict television regiment of only the Discovery and History channels. And three, we could put you through an intensive, false celebrity relationship intervention program. NOT CUT ME OFF FROM MY TRUE LOVE, MR. GREEN! Skylar, calm down, or the only thing I will ever let you watch on TV again is Phineas and Ferb! Phineas and Ferb rock! Phineas and Ferb 2 rock! <laughs> Man. What, Selena? <laughs> oh, I know. Yeah. Skylar. So wonderful. Skylar. <laughs> Skylar! Oh, you think I'm handsome? <laughs> oh, you. Skylar! Let's pay attention. What? Come on, let's I'm focus. Sorry, let's get back to reality. <clears throat> uh, okay, Skylar, um, I think maybe we need to take it slow, okay? How about you just start off by trying to only think of this girl when you absolutely find it totally necessary? You think you can do that? Yeah, slow. Can I go back to my Selena fantasy now? No, you cannot go back to your Selena fantasy. You don't need her. But... Maybe she needs me. No, Skylar. She doesn't need you. But maybe... Skylar, no. Whatever it is, no. Okay, let's just slow down. Take a breath. Skylar, why don't you try watching some other television shows? Look at other TV girls. In fact, why don't you try talking to some of the real girls on campus? You know... Like the girls you sit next to in class? Ugh. Real girls? Look, Skylar, I think if you give them a chance, you'll find them a lot more interesting than this Selena person. No way! We'll see about that. I'll tell you what, Skylar. Why don't you come back to my classroom in a couple days after you try this out for a while, and we'll talk about it and see where we can go from there. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Gray. You're welcome, Skylar. You're welcome. Hold on, Skylar. Give me the picture in your back pocket. What picture? Skylar, give me the picture. But... Mr. Green. Really? She's so beautiful. Uh, not really. No, not him. Her. Okay, let's see, this. Let's see the picture, Skylar. And the other one. 
There you go. And the other one. And the other one. When can I have them back? You're not getting these back. No! Skyler. I know. I know. She's... Skyler, you're fortunate. At least you don't have fox eyes. Oh, save me from the killer robots. You're so awesome.